partially paralyzed patient at a skilled nursing facility in Oakland was shot and killed in his room. That attack happened in the middle of the night over the weekend. Oakland police now are looking for two men who ran from that scene. KTVU crime reporter Henry Lee spoke to the victim's mother. He did not deserve to go that way. It was a heinous crime. 23-year-old Paris Moffitt, who was partially paralyzed, was shot and killed in his room in the middle of the night at an Oakland care facility. Moffitt's mother, who did not want to be identified, said her son was paralyzed from the waist down after he was shot at 27th and Broadway in Oakland in September. Now she's more... So somebody came and finished this kid off. This kid was paralyzed from the waist down. He was in a care facility and someone came up there and shot him again. Listen, man. You gliders, man. Y'all are taking all this heat for black on black crap. For black on black, not even black on black, just for the black man's plight. The state, the black man's inability to thrive in the easiest country. The turnkey, this is a turnkey country. It's just easy to thrive here. The fact that a master black man can't thrive, the fact that he can't um, dig himself out of the gutter of all the races, you're being blamed for this. Look at what we do to each other. Look hey. at what we do to each other. I know we go through a lot of fucked up stories, but it's like, damn, like he's already paralyzed. Yeah, they, he's they dead. like they, fuck. They literally, literally, that's how we act towards each other. It's no mercy. We we have no mercy towards each other. Crime reporter Henry Lee spoke to the victim's mother. He did not deserve to go that way. It was a heinous crime. 23 year old Paris Moffitt, who was partially paralyzed, was shot and killed in his room in the middle of the night at an Oakland care facility. Moffitt's mother, who did not want to be identified, said her son was paralyzed from the waist down after he was shot at 27th and Broadway in Oakland in September. Now she's mourning her only child. I can't believe anybody would do that to somebody that's not even able to to even protect themselves. Our understanding was it was a targeted shooting, a targeted murder. It happened at Lake Merritt Healthcare Center on MacArthur Boulevard in Oakland's Adams Point neighborhood just before one Saturday morning. Oakland City Council member Dan Cobb represents the area. No one expect to go to a, a skilled nursing facility and expect to be in danger from a shooting. That is unheard of. Two men snuck in through an unlocked back door and went into a room the victim shares with at least one other patient and then shot him numerous times. He died. <laughs> That's lobby the, fuck. I'm going to be honest to leave that back door unlocked. Oh, yeah, yeah. The things we have, um, the things we have energy and like, we can get up and do that. You want to go get that nigga? I know where he at, man. He had the health, the home, the home health fair place over there on such and such street. You try to go get him? Yeah, yeah, let's go get him. We got energy for shit like that. We hey, don't have uh, energy for shit else. Hey, so I don't know. I might be reading too much into this, but that's that son woman's son man's mom. The way she's kind of like, kind of like pushing everything away, like making it about, it looks like she's talking about somebody else. She's like, no one deserves to be going out like that, the way somebody can kill somebody like them. That's like, that's like your son. It's not, it's not like, she, she's not like almost, met, she's like not making it personal, it seems like. Right, right, right. Yeah, they, 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 they um lack empathy, man. And it's just, they're just different, man. They're different, man. Like no, no she breaking of the boys, nothing. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Definitely, definitely lack of empathy, but I'm also because she doesn't want to be seen. Pretty sure she doesn't want to get shot up herself as well. Yeah. Oh, so it's got to be terrifying. Like, I mean, it, think about it. If, if someone shot your son, paralyzed him, you're dealing with that. You're helping him get over the fact that he's paralyzed, which is something that he's probably he was a basketball player, right? So he's probably fucking torn up about that. He's young. He's never going to walk again. You're fucking, um, you're, you're horrified by that. And then you get a call, yeah, they came and finished him off. I mean, the terror that's in your heart, knowing that these guys are out there, like they, they didn't get caught for the first attempt on his life. And they're probably not going to get caught for this attempt on his life. And you're a woman. You're not like a gangbanger. You're just a woman. It's got to be terrifying. Oh, she didn't sound terrified, though, man. She really didn't sound like it. 
No, nah, she is. She may not sound like it, but she definitely is. Yeah. I mean, you're dealing with some in here. Yeah. And look what they did. I mean, just look what they did. So, I mean, you got to be, you got to take these guys seriously. Targeted shooting, a targeted murder. It happened at Lake Merritt Healthcare Center on MacArthur Boulevard in Oakland's Adams Point neighborhood just before one Saturday morning. Oakland City Council member Dan Cobb represents the area. No one expects to go to a, a skilled nursing facility and expect to be in danger from a shooting. That is unheard of. Two men snuck in through an unlocked back door and went into a room the victim shares with at least one other patient and then shot him numerous times. He died at the scene. The lack of staff, it's the lack of security. You know, they, they were just negligent. The care facility sits next door to Temple Beth Abraham. Raina Arnold is executive director but did not want to go on camera. It's very scary. We're, we're, we care about the people around us. We've had a really wonderful relationship with the um, convalescent home next door. Tony Chigatel is an attorney with California Advocates for Nursing. Salute to, um, salute to Peter Teft, man. Son woman Rachel Cooper killed elderly glacier glider in nursing home. Got two years. <laughs> yeah, man, two years. Man, you're lucky she got that. You should be lucky she got that, man. Oh, gliders, man. God, man. What a fucking Definitely sloppy fall. work. Definitely sloppy work by the facility, but I got bad news for her. Your son was in the streets. <laughs> yeah. Sloppy work by the facility, but God damn, just carnal savagery by the sun, man. Like, who's thinking that? This place, they didn't think they had to be Fort Knox. So you can't really even call it sloppy. Like that's she's probably the first time a gun's been fired in that building ever. Nah, most definitely. This is this <laughs> is like a one of a kind situation they have. Yeah, some men change. Some men, some men come in and they change the whole dynamic instantly. And in his his presence there, as you said, he was probably in the streets, but his presence there in the home facility changed the entire dynamic. And they should have, yeah, that, okay, we got a son man here was shot in a, some, you know, black Stanian type shooting. Um, we need to step up our game. But no one thinks like that. You know, and, uh, and also, like you said, you know, they got the energy to do shit. You know, my, take into account, they had the energy to find a unlocked door. <laughs> yeah. They had the energy to go search around and say, fuck the cameras, whatever. We're going to figure out a way around this shit. We got to find the unlocked door and just smoke this motherfucker. Yeah. Killers. Killers. They want to kill. They enjoy killing. They enjoy it. And, and that's a thing that you can't. Gladys um, not going to understand unless they're soldiers. Hey, but like, hold on. Like, Let me get a job at FedEx. No. Soldiers could probably understand that, you know, for like the killing, the thirst to kill. But in the social, um, in society, within the framework of society, the son man has a thirst to kill. Tell is an attorney with California Advocates for Nursing Home Reform. He says there's a delicate balance between allowing visitors at all hours and ensuring safety. Uh, I advocate for sort of an open door policy in facilities, but that said, there's always supposed to be some level of security. This armed security guard was on the premises on Monday, but only after the shooting death. Family members of other patients told me off camera security before the killing was lax. In a statement, the facility said in part that it's conducting our own internal investigation into the incident. Our sympathies are with the family at this difficult time. This killing is under active investigation by Oakland police. Anyone with information is asked to give investigators a call. In Oakland, Henry Lee, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Man, <laughs> I mean, God, dog. Um, let's see what else is going on out here in San Francisco. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, okay, we did that one. Um, I, I, we appear to have done that one. Yeah, we were here the other day. Um, hey, uh, yeah. My, my bad. I just made a joke in the chat. And then Marcy responded to it, joking me back. And then I, I just wanted to throw a comment in. So, all right, the place I work at, I've been working here. I'm, I'll make this quick. i just been working at this place for, like, probably two, a little over two years now, right? I, I do mm -hmm. delivery. So when I come back, you know, it's still, like, 
kind of uh, almost like a little um, Costco type, but just open to everyone. The past five people I could remember that have actually gotten fired on this job have all been some people. <laughs> and from what I can tell you what they were fired for, one, because she took like $800 out the cash register and was sl- sneaky as fuck about it. I think was getting away with it for like almost three months. Other one pretty much got bribed into letting someone take a certain amount of cases of Red Bull. I think like 10 cases for 200. Another one got fired because for the past four months, we had uh, we had been trying to figure out where the freezer stock has been going. She's actually been taking it without us knowing. The other one got fired because she just stopped. She just straight up just started showing the work latest shit. Like I'm talking like three hours past shift. And this is when I think we this is when management was all fucked up. And we almost had like no one to cover shifts. So it was like you make it or it's just however many people can make that shift at that point or whoever's there. And then the last one I know got fired. I think it was for around the same thing as the other dude. I think she had gotten bribed for like a hundred to let someone take some some of this. So that Wow. Th- this is this is just, you know, my sample my, size. This is small you know, sample size. This is just stuff I seen, stuff I experienced. You know, this again. I, I got, I got one, one, uh, some woman I work with, great person, love talking to her. She's awesome. But I mean, besides that, dude, it's like, how much more evidence do you need on <laughs> yeah. Like, I could tell you. <laughs> yeah, we're different, man. 